Thanks for joining me. So long back, I did sort of part one, two, three, and four of building the Wilderness Sierra audio section on the NorCal PCB board layout. Uh, the Wilderness Sierra is the ultimate project. Um, I have a board that I got from Dirk, I think in Germany, which is a Rev B 1994 board. Um, I'm going to try to build the parts and layout for the Rev D 1997 Wilderness Sierra for the most part. So I'll show you some of the differences and why that's interesting. Um, so this, this schematic on the bottom is the original NorCal uh, Sierra. And if you look maybe closer than you want to look, I don't know, let me, let me zoom in so you can see it. Um, there are a number of differences that are kind of important. So one of them, if, if you notice, the audio amplifier here is an LM386, and it goes directly uh, in a differential pair back to the product detector. And if you look at the Wilderness Sierra, here's the same circuit. Um, here's the audio amp, and here's that differential pair that goes back. They go through a pair of FETs for, for muting, and then to pins four and five, the same as these two four and five. Um, the other interesting bits is they have implemented a boost circuit here in the audio. So back in parts one, two, three, four, I think, I did put in this boost circuit in the board that I built. So I did a little bit of uh, above board building. I'll show you that. So you can see on the audio up here, there's a little bit of above board building to get that that boost circuit onto the audio amp. And I did some looking at the uh, the frequency response and a few things back then. I, I think now for speed, I'm just gonna build the original NorCal Sierra, and then I'll come back for things like, the original NorCal didn't have the adjustable bandwidth crystal filter or ABX, it just had capacitors to ground. It wouldn't be too hard later to pull those capacitors out, put diodes in and add the three resistors and an ABX control. So th there are changes like that that I want to put in, but it's, I think, maybe easier to build the board and then do the rework. So um, th that's what's going to happen, I think. So I'll build, I'll do a few of these updates and uh, show you along the way when things work. I have already tested um, the parts that are in green here, which is the audio amp, everything up to the product detector, which isn't yet stuffed. I brought in the DC, I put in the 78 L08, so I've got eight volts. So I have this protection diode, the power switch, sort of everything is ready and the audio amp works. Now I'm gonna work my way back through the product detector and the IF amp and then crystal filter. And the good news is that the crystal filter crystal frequency is the same as the NorCal 40A kits that I ordered from Loudertronics. So I'll use those crystals and a couple of the NE602s and that should give me a functioning receiver fairly quickly. I will, uh, as you notice, have to build the VFO, which is this much. And the difference between the VFO here and the VFO in the NorCal 40A is, you can see we have a zero set the same way, but instead of Varactor tuning, we have a physical tuning capacitor. So I'll get that put in so that we have a VFO and uh, then we should be able to work straight back from here. So receiver bandpass, receive mixer, crystal filter, IF amp, and then the product detector. So that's what's coming up next. So thanks for stopping in. I'll give you some updates along the way. See ya.